What's good guys, I'm back at it again with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video and today we're talking all about the Super Shinron Dragon Balls and how to get Ultra Instinct Goku without paying for them in the shop. Let's get straight into it. If you want to skip to a specific part of the guide, feel free to check the chapter list down below. Alright, for your first set of Super Shinron Dragon Balls, I have done all the testing and finally figured it out. So let's get straight into this. You go down to Goku's storyline, beat it all the way to the end. There's a couple of easy ways to do this, so let me walk you through it. First off, if you don't know already, you can push the R2 button, and this is going to give you the episode map, and then you can just scroll through every single chapter extremely quickly. So if you have multiple chapters already, this is going to be your fastest way to navigate. I'm going to go all the way to the Universal Survival Arc, and this is where you're going to get your first set of Super Shinron Dragon Balls. If you bought the Ultimate Edition of the game, you have a set. Now, just before I go into how to get these Dragon Balls here, there is a huge warning. If you bought the Ultimate Edition of this game, make your wish as soon as possible. You can actually overwrite your current wish if you go ahead and complete this, and you'll lose those Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make that wish, and you'll waste your money. Don't do that. Go ahead and make that wish. You can get Zamasu, you can get Goku Black. There's all types of amazing things in there. If you want the Zenny, you can get a million Zenny from the Super Shenron Dragon Wish. So yeah, pick what you want the most, what's gonna help you out, and let's get back into this. So in order to make it through the entire saga, you have to reach all the way until Goku's strength in the universe survival arc. When you do the Goku strength fight, you have two options. You can do it on the normal difficulty, which is extremely difficult, or you can lower it. If you do it on the normal difficulty settings, then take your time. If you beat him too quickly, you'll get the alternate ending. You won't get your Dragon Balls, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lackluster. I don't really understand why it's in the game. If you take your time and listen to all the different conversations amongst the characters in the world, they're going to go over all the different monologues that they did in the anime. Like, oh my god, Jiren is so strong. Goku, we believe in you. Blah, 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 blah. Once you roll through all of those different conversations, you're basically going to unlock your full potential. Jiren is going to unlock his full potential. Then you want to take him down. Once Jiren has been defeated under those circumstances, you will instantly get your Super Shenron Dragon Balls. Now, to make this easier for yourself, just lower the difficulty to the lowest difficulty of the game and beat the whole thing. Take your time, beat it. You will automatically get the canon ending of the game, and once you got that, you're good to go. So, now that you know how to get your first set of Super Shenron Dragon Balls, if you beat this on the normal difficulty settings, which are harder, you'll be able to unlock Jiren. That is how you're going to get your second set of Super Shenron Dragon Balls. Now, this is going to be a hell of a lot more difficult than the whole Goku thing was. So let's go over to the story map. There is a very specific way you have to go about doing this, and it starts over here with Saiyan's Rampage. So you have two choices. You're going to be fighting Kale, and you can either finish off Kale or you can wait and see. If you finish off Kale, you're going to go along a different storyline. And you're going to go all the way to the ending and you're going to miss out on the extra fights that you need to unlock ultra instinct goku as well as the super shenron dragon balls so be careful you want to pick wait and see now once you have selected wait and see you will go along the true strength storyline and this is an alternate storyline where you're going to fight a whole bunch of different dragon ball z characters and these fights are extremely difficult now, you can go ahead and lower the difficulty and beat these guys down however you see fit. However, when you get to the final confrontation, the ultimate climatic battle in Universe Survival Arc, you have to defeat this in the default settings. You cannot lower the difficulty. If you lower the difficulty, you're taking an L. So, in order to beat this, I'll go ahead and show you the objective. Survive the battle against Frieza, Android 17, and Goku. This fight is pretty crazy, but the fights before this are even worse. When you have to fight Android 17, Frieza, Vegeta, and Goku all in God mode, it's, it's just ridiculous. This is probably one of the worst fights to do. I did beat all of these on the default settings, but 
I also beat them on the lower default settings just so I could progress the storyline. No matter how you go about doing it, make sure that you beat everything in the previous arc and then come right here, set it to the default settings and just give it your all. It's a very difficult fight. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks that I usually use in certain circumstances if I'm struggling. Let's get into that. All right, so here's a little bit of a sort of cheese strat to make this a little bit easier for yourself. When you're doing some of the hardest battles in the game and there's multiple people that you have to beat in succession, then it's probably a good idea to use the unbreakable objects on the arena. What that means is there's specific items out in the world like these large rocks, the pillar in the center of the ring, that cannot be broken by you or the other characters. Hiding behind those and breaking line of sight will allow you to charge up without you know any confrontation. Once you get your ultimate, pop out from around the corner, do a dragon rush, and then go in for your onslaught. Those are some of the best strategies that I could possibly give you to try to get your advantage against these enemies because you do have to fight multiple enemies and they're all at their full HP. It's extremely difficult no matter how you go about doing this. So just give it your all, don't give up on it, and eventually you'll get your second set of Super Shinron Dragon Balls. And that's gonna be every way that you can actually get these Super Shinron Dragon Balls so far that I know of, which means if you go to these different storylines and go all the way to the survival arc, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to unlock another set of Super Shinron Dragon Balls if you finish it out the same way. There's going to be different storylines for each of these characters. So I'm really curious on how Vegeta might get the Super Shinron Dragon Balls or Gohan. So I'm going to keep looking into this. And as I get more information or as I beat it, I'll go ahead and post those videos for you right here on the channel. If you like what I do on the channel, make sure you smash that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future uploads, make sure you sub. I'll see you guys in the next video, though. This is your boy, MM Sage D. For now, though, I'm out of here.